All right, what's going on guys? This is uh, Noah Hits. Um, this is gonna be an update video. I wanna um, just kinda give you guys a few updates on the channel, future events, and um, <laughs> just kinda wanna talk about something real quick. Um, oh, and, and future mods for the escape here. Um, right now, we have now reached 100 subscribers. I believe you're gonna hear that in yesterday's video but we have reached 100 subscribers and I want to thank y'all for that. It's fantastic. Um, honestly, I really can't believe it. But um, that's not the point of this video. This video is an update video. But again, thank you th for 100, 100 subscribers. It's just, it's crazy. Um, so as of yesterday, I talked about the YouTube Partner Program and their new requirements and kind of told you guys that um, originally I was going to be a part of it and then now I don't meet the requirements, so I'm not going to be. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to go over a few goals for I have for the next few months. Um, I don't want to say like a new year's resolution because honestly, I don't, I don't know how this channel is going to go in the next year. Um, I'm hoping that we continue growing and at, at this, at this kind of the same rate or higher than what we're doing now. Um, but I think my goal is going to be 200 subscribers by April 30th, 2018. I would love to have 200 subscribers on April 30th because that is my 20th birthday. Wow, that's weird to say. But that's going to be my 20th birthday. Um, I feel that the way this channel is going to be run from now on is going to be it's going to be great and it's going to be able to grab more attention off of people and um, get a bigger fan base, I guess. So, um, that being said, we are now going to start with a new um, video schedule. Um, initially, I didn't think I was going to need to do this, but now with the YouTube Partner Program crap and all that stuff, I'm thinking maybe I need to step up my game a little bit. Um, so, that being said, um, a, a schedule that I'm going to try to stick with the best I can unless um, other things come up or like personal reasons or school um, is I'm going to do a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday upload from now on every week. Um, I'm thinking this might be able to give, give you guys a little bit more consistency. I, I looked through my videos today and, um, I, I'm having weak gaps, at, at least weak gaps in my videos. And that, that's getting people's attention enough. And then attention's falling back, falling back, falling back. And then I post another video and they're gone. So... That being said, I'm gonna try to be more consistent on this channel. Um, I really feel like that's gonna help us out um, on views and getting subscribers and everything like that. Um, I can't always promise that it's gonna be the most apps like crazy stuff that I usually post on like the, the Ford Escape off-roading and everything like that. Um, in order to keep up that consistency, I might try to do um, like on Monday do a recap of the weekend where I might get a lot of off-roading stuff or um, Probably my Monday video is gonna be the most interesting Wednesday. I, I kind of I'm thinking about maybe talking about Modern events or something like that or if I'm doing something cool with the escape then doing that um, Fridays Up for grabs. I don't really have a plan for that one yet. So, um, that being said, it's gonna, I'm gonna try to stick with that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So this is gonna be the first Friday upload uh, on that schedule and you all won't get another video until Monday. Um, but I'm thinking that should, that should boost everything. Um, give you guys a little bit more, more content to watch and um, a little bit more consistency. Um, I also wanted to talk about future plans for this escape. Now, <laughs> if y'all, I, I recently did a video with um, Rob Southerd, who um, I'll link in the description below. Um, and uh, I did a video with him of going off road in the escape, and he got some sick drone shots. So I'm definitely recommending you guys watch that video. Um, he did a fantastic job. He's really talented. Go sub to his channel if you aren't already. Um, so I recently did a video with him, and I got the escape stuck. Got high centered, all that stuff. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the next few mods might be some some cautionary things. Like I'm thinking about getting a um, a shovel mount 
for the Kurt roof roof basket I have. Um, mounting just a full size shovel to the side. I already have the lift um, high lift jack uh, mounted up here. Um, so I'm thinking about doing a shovel and maybe an axe on the other side just in case. Um, I have a rinky dinky like little military shovel that folds up. Um, it's great. It's gotten it, it does its job, but at the same time I need something a little bit bigger um, where I can get more leverage and, and pulling out crap. Um, and then I'm thinking possibly getting some max tracks. Um, for those of you who don't know what they are, they're just kind of these like probably these like big plastic pad type things that are about this big in size. Um, and their their main purpose is to provide um, extra traction, say if you're like stuck. So you just kind of like fit it under your wheel a little bit and it should be able to gain traction enough where you can pull yourself out. Um, I want to get those eventually. They are expensive, like really expensive, so it might not happen anytime soon, but I do want to get that. Um, another thing I've always thought about doing is getting some like gas cans for the roof basket. Um, something that has a low profile that I can mount, I can lock it to the roof basket so nobody tries taking it. Um, that's something I want to do. Um, so that being said, those are the, the three things that I'm really thinking about. Um, I do want to get different headlights eventually, or headlight housings. I want to get the projector housings. Um, that's something I've always wanted to do, but then now I have to take off the big uh, brush guard, which that was a pain putting on. Um, so that, that, that'll be eventually. I don't, I don't really know when. So I really just wanted to talk about one more thing, or one thing. Um, so... I started this YouTube channel in September. Now, if you go to my about page, I'm pretty sure it says I joined YouTube in 2012. Now I did. I used to post a little bit of longboarding videos, so I maybe posted five or six, and then I just kind of stopped. Um, I kind of got out of longboarding and I was just like, this is, I don't really have anything to film and I don't have a good camera. So I stopped filming all that longboarding stuff and then I put everything on private so nobody else could see it and all this other stuff. Um, but then in September, I was like, hey, I got I got a few friends doing YouTube. They have a fun time doing it. I would love to f jump into the, uh, the world of um, filming and cinematography and everything like that because... Um, as y'all know, I, I ran an Instagram, I still run an Instagram, um, that was based purely off of photography for this car. I love photography. I, I took high school classes on photography. It's it's always been one of my passions. Um, but I, I kind of got stuck. I was like, well, I really want to start filming. Like, I see all these cool videos, and I want to know how to do it. So, in September, I started. Um, I just got my old, uh, it was a, a Nikon D3300. Um... It had a film function, which I was so glad, um, or a video, a video record function. Um, so me and my roommate just went out and we started filming. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think the first video right now has about 5,000, maybe 6,000 views. Um, and the second one about 4,000, something like that. Um, so good views on it. It, it. They were successful. Um, so after that, I just kept on filming and doing the stuff now. And that being said, um, I did have a few, okay, well, I'm going to talk about one person in high school. I had one person in high school that always flaunted their YouTube in your face. Now, we're back in high school, I didn't really understand YouTube too much or how it all worked, so I thought this dude was crazy popular. Like, you probably got hundred, hundreds and thousands of views on his video. Now, later did I find out... I subscribed to his channel, found out that he, right now, right now, he only has 79 subscribers, and I'm one of them, and I don't really count mine, so 78, how about that, 78 subscribers, and he has been doing this for four years, four years, guys, four years, 79 subscribers, and he's consistent with the videos, though. Which it kind of boggles my mind. Um, I don't really, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna name him by name, but um, 
let's see where he's at right now. I believe I believe he has 79 subscribers and just over 5,000 views. Now, this kind of ties back in with the YouTube Partner Program um, and kind of my channel as itself. Looking at his channel, I feel really good about mine because I think in total I maybe posted 16, 17 videos and I have 17,000 views as of now, I believe. I'm, I'm, I don't want to pull it up on my phone right now, but I believe 17,000 views and 102 subscribers. That's five months of work. All right, five months. That's posting good content and everything like that. Just, just good content and, and I've done it. Now, <laughs> oh gosh, we got some guy up here. Hold on. You gonna do a drift? I don't think he's gonna do a drift. All right, there he is. <laughs> Anyways, okay, back back on track here. Um, he always had talked about becoming famous on YouTube, and he was so into it and flaunted in everybody's face when nobody wanted it and it, he just had the whole i'm better than you mentality because i have a youtube now i i, <laughs> I guess one little goal when i made my youtube was to pass him because i didn't think he was all that great he was kind of a jerk in high school um i didn't like him he didn't like me just simple how it goes um, so I, I just, I didn't like his holier than thou mentality. So when I started up my YouTube, I checked on what he had at that time. And I was like, I'm going to beat it. I'm going to pass him. And that's going to be that. So five months. Well, okay. Hold on. Let's bring it back a little bit. Originally I passed him in October, November. I, I want to say early, early December. Early December is when I passed him on subscribers. I passed him in views a long time ago. And that just kind of shows me and, and shows y'all as viewers. It really just depends on content, guys. Um, so I'm asking you with this, please, please, please give me feedback on my content. Because I want to be able to provide what y'all want to see and not, not just random crap. Um... I mean, I'm first. First things thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna film what I want to film, and I, I'm gonna look for feedback from you guys on how I can make it better. Um, that's my whole thing is I want to improve myself as a filmmaker and um, and just kind of provide for my audience in the best way that I can. Um, there will be a lot more escape content um, in the coming weeks. Um, as y'all can tell right now, it's snowy. It's really snowy. So, that being said, um, that being said, there's, there will be a lot of snow donut videos and, and kind of just doing off-roading in the snow. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I personally enjoy it. So, that will be coming. <laughs>